live in a state with countless female role models. Our Fox 13 sports director Aaron Levine sat down with two of them who are both leading major athletic departments. Well, it's a testament to the progress in sports over the last 50 years that we have two Division I programs in the greater Seattle area, and both of them are led by women. We're joined by Huskies Athletic Director Jen Cohen, Seattle U Athletic Director Shaney Fink. Thanks so much for joining us today. Uh, Jen, I'll start with you from a personal standpoint. How have you seen women's sports evolve because of the effects of Title IX over the years? Yeah, I mean, I think of a couple things. I think, one, resources. There's been a lot more investment in women's athletics, especially at the collegiate level, right? I mean, we're just seeing these programs grow in popularity and success. I think also exposure. You know, I mean, look at college softball. I mean, the coverage on ESPN, the viewership numbers. So it's just awesome to see the opportunities grow, the resources grow, and obviously the interest in sport because of that exposure. Shana, you were a volleyball player at Cal in the early 90s. Uh, what was it like then, and how has it evolved since then? Boy, it really has evolved, and, and that was already you know, 20 years after Title IX had passed. Um, so it had some of the advantages, but just in terms of the opportunities and the resources, kind of the coaching, all of that has really escalated. Uh, Jen, I think there are still just a handful of women at the Power Five level in conferences uh, that are athletic directors or female athletic directors, but still, both of you are incredibly accomplished. How do you think Title IX has helped shape your career trajectories individually? Yeah, I mean, I was born right before Title IX, so my entire life has been shaped by opportunities presented by Title IX. I mean, everything from being able to be a little girl that played softball, you know, coached by my dad, to playing in a really competitive high school for volleyball, coaching young women at Pacific Lutheran University, and then, you know, I had a life-changing moment for myself when I was given an endowed internship at Texas Tech at 28 years old by a female pioneer, tight in line pioneer, Janine McKaney, who had died. And she wanted to see more women become athletic directors at the Division I level. And I was the first recipient of her endowment. And 18 years later, I became an athletic director at Washington. So for my entire life, you know, Title IX is all about opportunities, you know. And so, um, you know, I, I'm just so grateful for every step of the way. How about your personal perspective, Shaney? Yeah, I mean, just to think about the skills and the um, experiences that athletics has brought, you know, everything, and we talk about it a lot, but everything from the discipline to time management to just the confidence that you get when you're competing at a really high level. Um, so from all the opportunities growing up um, to high school and playing multiple sports and then, you know, to, to my current role, all of this really um, wouldn't be possible without Title IX. And I think, you know, one of the key talk about the athletics component, but how it opens up other possibilities you know when you break through one barrier it just makes you realize what else can be accomplished so going forward in what other areas do we still need more change in terms of more growth in women's sports and putting women in leadership positions throughout the sports world I mean I think it goes back to the same areas we've grown are the same areas I think we need to keep growing and so opportunities don't come without investment an investment needs to come in a variety of different ways. So for women to still have opportunities, let's say in college sports, we need to see growth in sponsorship dollars being directed towards women's athletics, in uh, philanthropy, in donations going to women's athletics, television deals and television rights and, the, and giving people even more access to these incredible women and incredible athletes that bring so many people so much joy. What were some of the challenges to either of you in terms of attaining your position and getting to where you are today? You know, I think um, the role modeling is really important um, and can't be kind of overstated. There's just not enough women in leadership positions, so everything kind of feels like you're swimming upstream. And, you know, you're swimming upstream, you're getting stronger, but you just go a lot faster if uh, we we're able to kind of go with the flow on this. What are you most proud of at your respective universities relating to women's sports? Um, I think that it just is sustained excellence and the standard there. I mean, you have a coach like Heather Tarr, who is the most winningest coach in all sports of all time at the University of Washington. You have national championship teams in softball, in women's rowing, in women's golf, women's cross country, volleyball. Yeah. Um, we've been in the final four for women's basketball. We have some of the most elite, recognizable athletes at Washington were female athletes. I think for me, what I'm most proud of is not just those teams, not just those women, not just their leadership, but actually the impact that they have on everybody else. Yeah, I mean, absolutely, the, right? The, the success in the programs definitely brings more attention to all the good work that's going on. I think the voices of our student athletes and our coaches are so powerful. 
um, and they're having more and more opportunities to really kind of share that. And I'm you know, proud of the, the message and the, the progress they're making um, there. And there's lots of opportunities for with, um, women in our leadership and, and senior leadership in the athletics department um, and the, just the whole culture of our department being really focused on inclusive excellence kind of across the board. Well, in the next 20 years, I think this rivalry between Seattle U and UW is going to be even go. greater than it is now. So that's a lot of fun. May, uh, glad that both of you guys were able to sit <laughs> with us today. We'll see how we feel about each other yes. after the fall and basketball season, too. So soccer and basketball, we, we compete with each other. Well, can't wait to see yeah. what it's like in the fall. Can't wait to see what it's like in the next 10 to 20 years as well. Jen Cohen, Shaney Fink, thanks so much for joining us today on the show. Thank you Thank for the you. opportunity.